<laughs> Hello, welcome. It's been a long time. It's it, been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, we feel like we've been away for. Well, we haven't actually been away. We've just not. We've not been together, having yeah. to do it for about yeah. a month. So sorry if you've missed us. I'm sure you've missed I'm us. I'm sure every yeah. Monday, Wednesday, whenever it posts, you've been looking for it. But absolutely, we're uh, back. We're back for today, anyway. Has anything happened over the last month so that's much. worth telling? So much has happened. That's worth telling. Uh, well, the Our flood listeners. flood restoration works have started. Yeah. So they're ripping the heart out of the auditorium at the moment, all the carpets up. Oh, that sounds horrible. And the stage is the up and everything's up. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a building site, but work has started. And so that's good. So we're yeah, looking forward to when that will be completed. Yeah, there's it, there's suddenly lots of people around again. Yeah. We've got so, skips, we've got builders, yeah. we've got contractors, we've got yeah, yeah. loads of people. So uh, we don't know when, do we? It'll be finished. No. Not by Christmas, certainly. Uh, but... Um, yeah, so that's good. We start. We'll put some pictures on the website so you can see where we're at with things. But yeah. uh, it's not very exciting. It's all it, it, lo it doesn't look very exciting in there, no. does it? It, 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 it looks a bit sad. It like sad. everything. It's, it's, the, it's the breaking eggs on the yeah. stage, isn't it? Yeah. So um, that's where we are. Um, how are you guys? How's how's your month been? Any anything that's happened with you guys that's, that's exciting? Exciting. I'm just trying to think. At our age, memory is difficult, isn't it? <laughs> Speak to yourself. Um, we went to Ireland. We went to Northern Ireland, yes, to see Tina. Yeah, see Tina, she's doing really well. We're we're not, we haven't been on since then. I don't think I so. Don't think we have, because yeah. then you went away, didn't you? Mm. To a further place, you went to Portugal. Portugal. Yeah, I was in Portugal. That, that we surely, that feels like no, so no, long ago. I think, I don't think we have. We need, we need a continuity editor, don't we? Yeah. To check in what we've done, what we haven't. And we thought, oh, should we come back to Coffee Chat? And then we thought, yeah, we'll do some specials. We may not do it every week, but we'll, we'll do some specials. When we've got something interesting to say. <laughs> yeah, when when there's when there's like an update yeah. or yep. news of reflecting on something, or we find some more shark teeth, or we find some more shark teeth, teeth. yeah, big one. Then yeah. we'll probably come back and do the odd one. But I wouldn't expect every week. You probably don't no. expect anything anymore. You don't set your alarm. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> you've lowered your expectations. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wouldn't expect something every week. But maybe you know. It might be once a month, it might just be if something happens, you know, we'll go with the flow. It will, we'll go with the flow. We'll see what's going on. Well, we haven't talked loads. I do want to talk a little bit about the series we're doing, because yeah. yeah, it's yeah. been a great series and we haven't really been able to reflect. Um, no. But do you want to, Simon, do you want to kind of give us an update of where we are on this series? Yeah, sure. We're, um, we're nearly at the end. We're nearly at the end, yeah. We did uh, the seventh talk on Sunday, which was... Um, looking at trying sometimes means praying and really encouraging people into just direct make it prayer. yeah direct I talked about what I call direct prayer rather mm. than sort of petitioning prayer where you you say I'm going to pray for you and you go off to a room somewhere and you pray or you pray with a group of people for something to change in the world we looked at how Jesus prayed directly for people which often brings people out in a cold sweat the thought of mm. doing that mm. so we tried to, to make it really accessible and say don't focus on the outcome focus on making yourself available because mm. you can't control the outcome of prayer but you can control whether you make yourself available to pray so we honed in on that and the week before we did the um can i just say i loved yesterday how and obviously i know this but i just thought it was really lovely to remind ourselves that our job is to just be a conduit of yeah god's love yeah. and power and actually he needs to use us well, he doesn't he can do anything but he likes to partner mm. with us and use us to be a channel to bless other people so if we don't ever step out and and pray for people then that's like an opportunity missed mm. for God's love to flow through. And when yeah, you put yeah. it like that, it makes it a bit like, gosh, that's quite um, a responsibility. Yeah. There's a person there who needs Jesus. We're the person yeah. that can connect them, and we choose to walk away and not offer because we're a bit, oh, I don't want to offer. So I jokingly said, you can never guarantee the outcome of your prayer, but I can guarantee you'll never see any outcomes if you don't ever offer to pray. Well, exactly. and, and that's the reality of it, really. So, um, yeah, and we just <clears throat> we tried to get away from the should we expect the miraculous or not, because that can be a hang up as well in terms of where you are theologically with that whole idea of the continuation of the miraculous but the key thing is do you offer to pray yeah. so hopefully we we made it accessible for people <clears throat> we've had a couple of new people there who are just beginning on a journey of faith and they found it really helpful so that was really really great to hear so Ooh. yeah if we can just encourage people to pray very simply very naturally and just take all the weirdness out of it yeah. and just make sure the person you're praying for is really supported and honored and uh, and feels loved by what you're doing and the way you're doing it. So I think the takeaway is that we just need to try, and I think I think yeah. that reminder yesterday of us being that that channel is that yeah. that persuasion to go for it, even if we think we're going to look really foolish. And I did that recently. You did. Um, 
somebody came we'll try to, a to talk to us. Um, won't say who, but they came in and they they'd had COVID badly, and um, I just was sitting. This there is thinking, a non-Christian friend, isn't it? Yeah, and I was just sitting there thinking, um, come on, then just offer to pray, and I could I could feel that nudge mm. of the Holy Spirit, and I thought, oh, what if he says no? And I just I thought this is ridiculous. I just need to do this. Um, so I just said, would you mind if I pray for you? And he straight away went, yeah great and I was like okay <laughs> and uh, yeah we prayed and um, it felt like he really engaged with with God as well in that process and uh, so yeah I just want to encourage all of us to just step out and remember that it's our job to be that conduit that channel and if we don't then what that person might miss out on a major encounter with mm. God <laughs> yeah or even just feeling more loved and supported yeah. by you offering to pray in the first place so. mm. I had a bit of a slight failure story oh. did you from a couple of weeks ago yeah um well Basically, I, I am going to say because they won't mind, but um, Sophie and Lukash um, w- a mo- moving house, <laughs> and I um, we, we were talking about it in small group, and they were like, oh, why don't we just pray that, that you know, you'll feel settled with whatever happened, and I was like, oh, we've got to pray like bold prayers, so I was like, okay, I, I'm just going to pray a bold prayer that you'll get a call this week that you can move in at the start of next week. And I was like, you know, there's no point talking about being bold and then not actually being bold in our prayers. So um, I did that and they got a call that week yeah. saying the house has been delayed another three weeks. <laughs> so um, my my bold prayer in that moment ended up being a, you know. They did get a call the next day though. They got a call. <laughs> you got 50% um, there, But a bit, you know, a bit of a failure, but I, I didn't, the one thing in that moment that I did think was it actually I had a moment I, I forgot there was something you said a few weeks ago um that wasn't really massively related to that but it was something about like not just talking about things but then actually doing it and I was thinking yeah. we often fact, we, we talk discipleship is follow through don't we, we yeah, yeah exactly okay. actually, um, if you're gonna God says me you're gonna do it yeah, yeah exactly so I was I felt challenge in that moment not to just be a small group that go oh yeah we'll just pray that you'll be you know yeah. at peace but actually pray for what yeah. what they wanted yeah. which was that they yeah. um but yeah bit of a failure story but hey well we celebrate right. failure stories yeah. we celebrate yeah. right. try yeah. um, in all different ways yeah so so yeah what else is a highlight simon that you want to pull out from your talks because you've done the majority of the talks yeah um I think yeah, we looked at the five discipleship questions, didn't we? Mm. Did we talk about? It? I, I can't again. I can't no, remember. No, that. No, no, not no. no. So just five simple questions from a guy called Jordan Seng, who runs a church in Hawaii. He uses these questions to encourage people into a culture of try. And so the questions are, what's God been saying to you recently? Which is a great question to ask anybody. Mm. Um, and then second question is, what are you doing about that? Mm. And that's the whole concept of you know, if God's saying or speaking to you, then as a disciple, we follow God and we respond to God. And the third question is um you know what's hard about that you know what's what you find difficult to do with that fourth thing is kind of who are you taking with you who are you influencing on that if you're going on a journey with god who can you take with you uh, an influence towards god and lastly how can i help and those it's very simple questions that we can use just to encourage a, a conversation mm-hmm. we can use them with friends as well who aren't believers because everybody wants a life of purpose so we can say you know what do you feel led to do at the moment you know what's hard about that how can i help you all these questions are still mm-hmm. applicable and can create a really meaningful discussion. So, mm. so um, yeah, and so I'm, I'm, I'm hearing little whispers of people kind of doing that in, in the church, which is great. So we want to make sure that the culture of try continues after the series finishes. So. Yeah, because obviously this series isn't like, oh, we'll, we'll end no. trying to the end <laughs> of the said, you're, you're, And done. Yeah. I'm sure some people just hang in tough. Yeah. Just finish the series. I'm going to survive one more week without trying and I've got through, but no, we're going to continue. With the well, next week is all about, well, one of the big things is testimonies, isn't it? So we've had yeah, we've encouraged a few the testimonies church to yeah. tell us their try stories, whether they're failure or success. One minute, two minute stories, just to see yeah. how people have stepped out. That's exciting. So hopefully we'll get a few stories. Um, mm. Yeah, so it's been a good, and then we're in, can you believe we're into Advent, which is... I know, that is crazy. crazy. Mad, so isn't it? our cafe's got a Christmas menu out. Yeah, we've got a Christmas menu, which is... Um, Christmas! Very, 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 <laughs> it's actually starting today, so you need to pre-book. Um, but we would just say, you know, if you've got friends or work colleagues, it's a great chance to say, oh, let's go and have a Christmas little mm. do at a lunchtime at our cafe, and it brings people in through the door. So yeah. we're inviting you. 
Um, yeah, you can go on. on the website or phone them up and book a table. There's some great stuff on the menu. I think we'll have to be sampling some, won't we? We'll, oh, we'll, we'll need one to. Spice to. parsnip soup. Um, we, should, we should have we should have had some to sample now. Yeah, and to, we should you know, tell you about them all. Yeah, we should. But um, <laughs> yeah, all good stuff. When, when's it okay to put up Christmas decorations? Because me and Emma have been watching some. Yeah. Has vlogs. 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 So not vlogs. Is that a new thing? <laughs> vlogs. Is that a new thing? <laughs> I was just going to Video vlogs. Like <laughs> um, yeah. we've, been, we've been watching some vlogs on yeah. YouTube and um, a lot of these influencers yes. have gone, gone early November. Gone but, I mean, they want. Is that because I said they do it? For, yeah, they yeah. do it for their yeah. YouTube channels and. All of this that. is your first year in your house. It is. It? So exactly. Like, you know, you're going big on the lights. What colours mm. and. I think we will probably go big on the inside lights. Okay. Um, outside scares me. Um, <laughs> or so. just, generally. just generally, or just, yeah, just generally, just I just don't like the outside. <laughs> um, yeah. See, but, a couple of years ago, I bought some mixed warm white, cool white light combos, Ooh. and they were actually very nice, bang on trend. And uh, they. Uh, so with you know, he's got a light thing. Yeah, yeah. Like warm white, cool white, because the house is white, cool white, but I like warm light lights, and so I actually bought these mixed, yeah, alternating, and they're really nice. Mm. Um, I'm worried that every year he's going to go bigger. We're going to end up like one yeah. of those. Yeah, I'm not inflatable farm Christmas person or anything like that. Or later <laughs> people show. come to no. see and put money yeah. in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I just haven't biased him in Birmingham. It was an amazing house that used to raise charity every year, and his house. Was incredible. <laughs> Everything. I mean, it's done really nicely. But I, mean, I bet people can't afford to do that. There was a light. Well, I, was, I know. You're so not going to get the Home Alone houses no. anymore, are you? Yeah, we're actually not, no. Got huge so, Jay, you can feed back to us on the colours. Yeah, but when? Inside. When? I when is the know. question? Oh, so first week of December? First weekend of December? Probably in a new house, mate. You could probably go. Oh, I think you can. When you get to our age, we're probably like. Night, Stop saying night, 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 night before. Whoa! Wait, are you saying the first weekend of December's early? Uh, it is for us because my birthday is early December and my son Jake, our son. We can't believe And we them. always wait till after then because we just want to get the birthday. We're so probably we're always... a couple of weeks before, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe. And also, you haven't got to look at them for a long time. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried that the dog's going to be eating the tree. There is that. <laughs> there um, is that. But yeah. Yeah. I've, 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 I've tried to persuade Emma that we should get a fake tree this year. Um, Think and of the environment. Are you going to rent one or hire one? We've got a fake tree because it fits nicely in the corner of our <laughs> space, so we actually we almost like bought one to fit the room. Yeah, we did I've tried to, I've, I've very much tried to convince Emma. We've had that for years now. It's all about the smell for Emma. I know, just yeah. buy a fresh air spray that smells the the needle drop and all that. I'm yeah. sure we'll have lots in the comments about real or fake trees. That comes yeah. Oh, we, yeah, go on. Yeah. Real or fake, yeah. no. why? why? Don't yeah. just say real yeah. and, and when. Tell us why yeah. and when. And when? When? Can I do the last weekend of November or does it have to oh, be December? I think you can. Oh, well, I think you can. <laughs> there are some who went in October. That is the start of Advent officially, yeah. 28th. Yes. Oh, in, in, in the, yes. In the liturgical she calendar. For the Advent so, season. So, yes, yeah, yeah. you can go that Great. week in November. Um, that that's helps it, me, that one. Yeah. Good. There you yeah. go. That's what we're here for, Jake. I'm going for it. Um, yeah. 27th, I reckon. So, maybe we'll do a Coffee Chat Christmas update with yeah. some information on your lighting mm. and uh, where we are. So, that will be the next update. When we next probably oh do a coffee gosh. chat, yeah. it will be proper Christmas season. We're going to be yeah. in Advent. We're going to be gonna decked be... with jewels and lights. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, so, yeah. That is exciting. Christmas hats. Okay. Anyway, yeah. we hope you're excited about Christmas and getting ready. And do let us know in the comments. Yeah. Real or fake tree and why and, and where when are you going? We also, just really oh. quickly, we are doing these... Um, Bags, aren't we? That we're giving yes. out. Do you want to quickly? Yeah. Um, yes, go. We are giving out uh, hopefully 120 hampers for families that we've been in contact with uh, through schools across Herne Bay and Whitstable, and we've got an opportunity for you to sponsor a bag if you want to. So you can go on our website and sponsor a bag. They cost about 15 pounds each, but this is so that they can have a Christmas a meal. On yeah, they are a hamper. They can, so they can have Christmas lunch on us, a whole family. So yeah, if that's something you're interested in then do pop on the website Great. and donate. Yeah. Yeah, cool. cool. Well, let's call it a day. Yeah. We will see you again at some point soon. I'm yeah. sure it will be pre-Christmas. We'll be very excited. Simon will be in his Christmas hat and... It, yeah. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> be it. Okay. All right. Have a good one. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.